This one's only 12 minutes. You know, Patrice didn't have a lot to say about Nuketown, but I mean, come on, who the fuck does? It's motherfucking Nuketown. Welcome, Welcome back to Zombies. I feel like Pat's gonna personally Today roast me because I do not like the Nuketown episode. Zombies. Looking at map. the biggest complaints seen among casual players throughout the expansion of Zombies was growing complexity. While Black Ops 1 is noted for seeing this through an increase in map size, after this period, the Zombies series experienced a filling out phase where the content rose to match the size of the maps. The first time we see this is on Transit. That's some big brain information Next right there. Week, high complexity in Zombies maps, but there is a huge casual population who don't. But unlike Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2 did in fact make simple maps to appeal to these casual players. Bus, farm, and town were cut down. I just called Bus Depot Bus. Wait a second, dude. There's no way he did that. Bus, farm, and town. Oh, dude. Yes, sir, Didi. Town were cut down, ruled at war size. I do maps, like the map allowed bus. people to hop straight into a match and just play classic zombies survival. Town especially was a straightforward. Town survival is like one of the best. Didn't need tons of bare bones survival maps ever. Uh, I always Patrick say that. Also I always say that. A seemingly evil counterpart to that simple and easy map. <laughs> Nuke <this> town. <laughs> I better hear this metric. reasons. I actually aim to make a case for this map today. This man brought out the briefcase. Bro, he brought everything. This man brought the suitcase. He brought his lawyer. We're actually sitting down at a conference table. It's getting Talk legal. About innovation or really a whole lot of Let's explanation at all. Newtown Zombies is a tiny map weighing in at around two and a half Nocturne Totems. Two and a half? 2.5 Nocturne Totems. Same amount of features as Kino or Doris. On paper, it's a plain and simple survival map, but that doesn't mean it's boring. It's quite easily the most condensed, the worst Call of Duty Zombies map ever. Bottom tier garbage, trash, scum on my sandal dose of chaos you will ever get from a zombies map wait chaos your chaos is a nuketown yo boys i knew it dude motherfucker said the the storylines didn't converge bro pat said and it. a lot of people dislike nuketown for this exact reason yet it's also what makes it so inherently unique there is oh, no order to nuketown nothing is guaranteed here Nothing's guaranteed but the fucking worst spot on my list, dog. For the first time in Zombies, we see not a single boarded window to exist on the map. Spawns what? Spawns are numerous, with every single nook and corner seemingly... There's not one border in Nuketown? That's such a lie. There has to be borders where... There's one window at least, dude. Not even in any of the houses? Dude, Alpha Omega has window barriers. Perks are not set, but rather they fall from the sky every three to six rounds in a random order, and some games will not spawn Jug until round 22. Oh, and did I also mention it's one of the tightest maps to train on of all time? How y'all like this map? How y'all like this map, boys? Hi, did you just hear that? You don't get Jug until round 22. You get, you get idiots coming at you. Like, I mean, come on, dude. Like, I mean, come on. So that's Nuketown described in a paragraph. It's simple, but not easy. A huge portion of the zombies community dislike Nuketown because of this perk drop system and its overall difficulty. This guy! And it also doesn't really have a lot of content, and many just find there isn't a whole lot of replay value here. I think it's a yes, map that is sir. Old and often entirely forgot about being stuck in the shadow of transit and town. And yet, <laughs> I thought this boy was about to say, stuck in the shadows of evil. <laughs> there is actually a group of people who like Nuketown Zombies. And I don't think these people are crazy who? at all. There I, is I real do. value I do to think this map, they are crazy. And let's shine a light. There's no value. So as a standalone, Nuketown, but also brings up the overall quality of Black Ops 2 Zombies. This is because Nuketown adds range. 
I've often said before that Rage. Two Zombies is the best overall game, Rage. not because it has necessarily the most complicated maps, but because Rage. it provides the player with the most unique number of experiences. So let's where's your range? Let me tell you, dude. Let me tell you, boys. Let me let me whip out the measurements. Thing. Your range is about from the letter A to the letter Z, dude. That's about range. That's about as much range as you're getting let's on the get Call of Duty Zombies map. To contrast this. In terms of overall content, Black Ops 3 I never freeze, but Nuketown has does, the bro. better maps. Yes, but sir. Goron Krovi, Derizendrak, Shadows of Evil, Zetsubo Noshima, these maps all exist on the same frequency. They're heavily storyline-based maps with deep levels of complexity and relatively similar difficulties. While visually and thematically yeah, these underlying similar Jason Blundell energy to them. And I think if you've played a lot of Black Ops 3, you know what I mean. You could play one of them and you'll get an idea of what every other Black Ops 3 Zombies map will be like. I would say that Black Ops 3 DLC falls in a similar boat, but to a lesser extreme case. A Black Ops 1 certainly is has that a range. unicorn reticle? The what the heck is that? BO2, however, does this the best, and we'll be exploring this idea a lot throughout Black Ops 2. What Zombies. Is this ancient evil? No two Black Ops 2 maps are the same, and Nuketown is part of this. Nuketown Zombies is unique, and there is nothing in the entire Zombies catalog that can come remotely close to providing you with such an experience. So, how does this map play? I'm an Adam! How's <laughs> he back? How is he back? I didn't even notice. This man came back. Did Adam, wherever you are right now, I will pick you up, dude. Nuketown Zombies can be a ruthless map, and even small distractions will result in a down. I would. Span of like six seconds. This man has down four times. Every clip. Ah! And ah! And ah! And ah! <laughs> this is like the same word. Dude. Describe single player Nuketown as ordered evil. Stop, stop. While it's absolutely <laughs> ruthless. Stop, stop, it stop, stop, stop. Please stop. Please stop, dude. Is at least incredibly Please straight. Stop. Dude, this editor is so ruthless. This is so ruthless. He's about Four. to die again. The main disrespect. Simply put, if you can train on Nuketown zombies, you can pretty much train anywhere. And I think Nuketown zombies. I'm gonna get like paranoia of just like a revive symbol popping up out of nowhere, and it just says Adam needs to be revived. Zombies takes this practice idea oh, to a higher level. Goodness. The randomness of perk drops also forces players to improve on How others. Ugly this map Maybe you looks. get double tap and it's pack so a punch ugly. first. And so great about this map is that co-op provides you with something entirely different. Four-player Nuketown Zombies is the most chaotic zombies <laughs> experience to date. The map isn't meant for four people, and this oh, is ironically dude, what makes what it so What about eight-player chat? Do you remember the eight-player glitch on BO2 Zombies? Did y'all do eight-player Nuketown? That was legitimately broken. It was ridiculously insane, dude. There is so much going oh on at all gosh. moments, and teammates are downing <laughs> yeah, just Adam, 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 Adam. Picking each other up, and it is just a fun experience. Especially when there's no jug, it really just creates this particularly unified game. You expect your teammates to go down, and there's no shame oh in that number even God. reaching into the evil. Dude, this is Adam's chaos. video, dude. It's this is Adam's come up right here. I'm just realizing it, dude. I'm just realizing it. He's gonna come up. And I gotta say, for what it is, Nuketown Zombies also delivers some surprisingly good storyline, Easter eggs, and atmosphere. Love or hate the perk system, it's really exciting to hear the nukes. Exciting storyline? Siren and though? see a perk come crashing down <laughs> the map. There's also three Easter egg songs attainable on this map. On Route 5, you can hear the Green Run bus, and if you knife the bunker, Marlton, who is part of the transit crew, can be heard. Best of all is... Please, for my sake...
Do not knife the bunker, dude. The game sets up the map to coincide with the events of Moon from the previous game. Every couple of rounds, players can hear Rick Toppin working through his grand scheme until he gains control of the zombies. I will on admit, round the 25. blue eyes thing on Newtown is a nice the touch. Zombies it's eyes a nice turning touch. blue and a change in the mystery I box. I do like zombies. this. And of this course, I do finally, like. when the player gets game over, one of the missiles that are sent from the moon in Black Ops 1 lands on Nuketown. We it's literally cool. get just like every other map in Black Ops 2, it serves a purpose. Does Die Rise really serve a purpose? I mean, come on. I think everybody would have been fine without that map. Origins that is a giant, challenging quest there. map with well, extremely deep gameplay. Buried is a beginner <laughs> quest map. Buried is for learning the, best, the ropes and map. attempting yes, challenges. Sir, it is. Mob of the Dead is a cinematic masterpiece with the best characters, storyline, and atmosphere. Die Rise is admittedly a horrible show, but serves as a great high round attempt map. Die Rise is a fucking piece of trash, but yeah, you know, like you can still use the silicon fly. <laughs> It is a chaotic oh mess of a map that gosh. somehow manages to make for a fun, casual experience with friends. Bus Depot mirrors bare bones knocked, farm resembles- What is he saying Bus Depot here and then before he just says bus? Like, I don't know. Though. Chino, like, Numa, what? and Baruch. And Town is a condensed Kino or Jerice, quite easy and perfect for casual zombie survival. And then, Nuketown Zombies fills the one missing void. A challenging survival experience, perfect for both casual hardcore players and teams looking for spice. Black Ops 2 Zombies we benefits that from this challenging survival map as it adds to its range, and Ooh, I think Black Ops 3 outro. really suffered from not having anything like this. Five of the six maps in that game are extremely complicated, and the only one that isn't is a remake. No matter who you are, sometimes you just want to train and chill rather than having to do a thousand steps to open up Pack-a-Punch. Nuketown, and town for that matter, give Black Ops 2 depth. Zombies needs both simplicity and complication to appeal successfully to all groups of players. My final rating for Nuketown Zombies is a 7.8 out of 10. I guess, I guess. But like, honestly, what made that video was Adam.